this video I'm going to show you some very simple stuff with getting your images set up using HTML. And I'm just going to sort of generically show you how to work with the code using Firefox. Now I've left an error in Firefox deliberately because I want to show you how I look for errors when I'm grading yours and how to go through and correct them when you find them. So you can't see an error when you're looking at it. And this is not a pretty page because we really haven't gotten to making pages pretty yet. We'll do that when we get to CSS. So I just have it properly formatted one section after the other with three pictures of my dogs. I also brought in a transparent photo that I created using my signature. That's very easy to do. You can either do it on a transparent background if you have Photoshop or on a white background if you don't and just basically drew that. So I wanted to show you how that would just sort of show the background through. Now let's go take a look at it. I'm actually going to use Dreamweaver here in a minute when I show you how I correct it. But right now I want to just view the page source. And you'll notice today I'm working on my Mac. I have a Mac and a PC and I go back and forth between the two. And I don't have all of the additional uh, toolbars added to my Firefox here, but all of them have the ability to right click and choose view source. So let's take a look. First of all, I want to show you where my error is. I have a footer here and I accidentally closed it twice. And when I'm looking for errors, I go into Firefox and it will tell you if you mouse over the red errors what the error is. So we're going to fix that in a moment. I'd like to have you take a look at how I created my image source for each one of these. So the tag is image source equals and the name of the file. And then you want to set the width and the height. And it's important to set the width and the height, which you can get by um, wherever you're resizing it. You should write them down. And then my alternative text is going to be what shows up if you were viewing the page uh, where you couldn't show the images. And so it describes the image. And you don't need to say it's an image. They know it's an image. Um, this is also what would be read in browsers for the blind. And then I give it a title of Eli or Nessie or Nurse Nessie. And when I look at these, you see the title as a tooltip. If you were to view the image information, it would tell you the size. And this will show me if you've resized it, because I will grade on that. Um, you should be resizing these in Photoshop or Paint or some sort of image editor. There's lots of free ones out there. I have tutorials on three. And you can see the preview here. And you can also see what the associated or alt text is. I showed you where my error was. And I typically do use Dreamweaver, though Optana does work on the Mac as well. I've been working on Dreamweaver for this class. So I have an error. And I'm in Lab 4, which is Images. So I'm going to go open up Lab 4. And I want you to see that I have saved each of these images inside my file folder. Whether you use Dreamweaver or Optana, it doesn't matter. For this path to work, let me open up my index. For the path to work, it has to be in the same folder. Otherwise, you're going to have to designate a file path if you use a, if you use a sub path for an image. So if you wanted to put in a new file folder called Images, and I do like Dreamweaver better because it's just going to update these for me. So if I move everything in and I put in Update, you'll see then it's Images slash Nessie. And this is another way to organize things is to have an image file or an images file for all of your images. And I do prefer Dreamweaver just for the fact that it does this sort of automation for you where it's changing my code. And so now I have images slash Nessie, images slash Nessie 2. Um, I want to get rid of my footer here. And then I would save everything, choose File, Save All. And I should. Now the option is here, I can either upload everything 
or I can synchronize. And I'm going to choose to synchronize because that will move everything instead of giving me two copies. So I'm going to choose selected local files, put newer files to remote. I actually want, yeah, put newer files to remote or get and put newer files. And I can choose sync. And I'm going to hit OK. Now when you do stuff like this, it's sometimes a good idea to go out and look at your remote server too to make sure you don't have those in there twice. Because if I go out here and check what I'm afraid of, and it commonly happens, is that in 4 here I have images and I still have the outside ones because they already existed on the server. So I'm going to go through and clean it up by deleting the ones that are out whoops that are outside of that. And sometimes it's good to just pull this out so you can just work on it. You can detach any of those menus and it makes it a little easier. So I'm in lab 4 here and I can edit and delete, or I can push delete on my keyboard, because you want to keep this sort of cleaned up. And then I should have all of my images that I need did re-upload here. So you want to check that if you're moving things around. So I'm going to go back to my local view, and I'm going to repark this right there. It's nice to be able to do that in Dreamweaver. Okay, and I got rid of my error in my footer, so I'm going to go out and I'm going to refresh this. And it shouldn't matter. Oh, look what happened. This I uploaded those, but I did not save and upload my um, images. So this is what happens with your alt text. So I better redo that whole file here. Test, test, test. And then I can check it again. Refresh. They're back. And if I view my page source, I don't have any errors. And you should be checking the page source after you upload, looking for errors every time. I can't stress enough that testing things is really important. You'll also know that I have gone through creating the favicon, which you may hopefully have watched that video first. And you can see my favicon showing up right here. So you're going to create a simple page with multiple images, and they're just you're going to just list them down in a row. I put each one in a section. So you also are going to get use your own images. I want you to edit them. I want you to put them online. I want you to use both alt text and title text, and I want to make sure that they are sized properly for the web. And so put each one in its own section. You don't have to go as far as labeling it at this point and put your images that you edited up on the web for this lab.